Jim within Stuff Music, and I'm here today to do a demo of the Third Power Dirty Sync 112 Combo. The Dirty Sync 112 Combo Amp from Third Power. The Dirty Sync delivers a wide range of classic sparkling 60s clean to the scorching crunch challenge, just like those found on channel two of Third Power's flagship kitchen sink amplifier. If you're looking for the perfect balance between rugged and stylish, as well as tone and portability, then the Dirty Sync was made for you. The Dirty Sync features 22 watts of solid state rectified class AB power with two ECC83 preamp tubes, two 12AX7 preamp tubes, two 6V6 power tubes, custom Haybower transformers, and an American made 12 inch WGS Green Beret speaker. On the top panel of the amp from left to right, you will find a single quarter inch instrument input, then controls for volume, treble, middle, and bass, mini knobs for presence and hybrid master, and the FX send and returns for the Class A pedal-friendly effects loop. Finally, on the right-hand side, you'll see the switches for standby and power. The Dirty Sync also features three speaker out jacks for a single eight or dual four ohm loads. Lastly, this amp weighs in at a very manageable 29 pounds. Get yours today at instuffmusic.com and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now we're back after the technical specs of the amp. Before we begin today, a quick note on how we're recording. As you can see, I've got a Sennheiser 906 and a ribbon mic on the speaker out in the interface. Uh, you can see how I had the amp set in the beginning. Uh, pretty gained up, but I have the hybrid master engaged, so it's not um, blowing my face off uh, when I sit right next to it and play, which is very useful. Uh, because this amp, if I were to take that hybrid master out, it's only 22 watts, but it would be lethal at this distance. And I had an Echoplex pedal in the loop. So, let's begin. We're going to do uh, some overdrive sounds with this Les Paul, and then I'm going to kick it over to the Strat, because this is an absolutely beautiful, clean amp as well. So, let's start. I'm going to leave it where it is, and here we go. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
right, so right there, I ran through a bunch of different volume and pickups uh, settings on the Les Paul. Didn't touch the amp. Very dynamic, very responsive. So I can have all that happening, you know, cleaning it up with the volume controls of the guitar while not touching the amp settings. So let's bring the gain back a little bit and bring uh, the volume up a touch and hear how those interact. And then let's go back, take that echo out. So that's more of like a mild plexi-ish thing happening. So that's more of a vintage vibe happening there. Let's see if we really gain it out where we end up now. I kind of have the presence chilled out. I can bring that up a little bit. So here we go now. A little more in hot rod territory. <laughs> so we can get there. Let's switch it over to the uh, Strat and get some clean sounds happening. Okay, now we're back. I have a clean-ish sound set up, not like super, super pristine clean, but pretty clean. Get the uh, echo added back in, here we go.
If I take the volume on the guitar back a touch, bring it back up, and it's really nice. Yeah, you can get it pretty bold. Let's kick it out a little more. And then let's gain it up quickly with the Strat. Kind of go back to the vicinity of where I had it before. Bring my hybrid master into play. Let's see what we got. <laughs> So that's like that big kind of vintagey plexi thing. I have a fuzz in line here. Let's just kick that on. Let's see what it sounds like. Kind of kick it into overdrive. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. That is the Dirty Sink from Third Power.